Hey there guys, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up open broadcaster software. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, go ahead and open up your open broadcaster software. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the settings real quick. Don't worry about the general, we're going to go to encoding. This is where all the compression and quality is going to come from your stream or recording. So what I usually do is put it at 8 which is going to make it to where it compresses it enough for it not to be a big file. That's also because I don't have the best internet. So this number right here is based off of your internet. Right now I'm running off a of DSL, it's horrible, so I'm going to go with 700 kilobits per second. I suggest about 2000, uh, if you can get like 2 megs down, 2 megs up, uh, you can put that up to 2000. Also on the audio, don't worry about the audio, it sounds the same no matter what you put it at. All right, and we're gonna go over here and go to broadcast settings. Now what you're gonna do is set up either a live stream or the file output only. Uh, you can switch it back and forth. And then if you're gonna live stream, click on the website that you live stream from and then find the central, or not central, the closest server closest to your your actual house. Once you have that, you're going to have a stream key. If you don't know how to find that, go ahead and go to uh, your dashboard for your live stream, which this is for Twitch only right now, or for me. I can only show you that. And I'm going to go to my dashboard and stream apps. And then right here, it's going to say show key. It's going to show you a key. You're going to copy this move back over to your broadcast software and paste it into that box now just leave everything else the same if you want to set up hotkeys you can guys? but I don't so, really worry you know about it basketball trick shot videos they get like sorry about that guys now we're gonna move on to video we're gonna save that alright right here is the actual resolution that you want it to pick up uh, mine's at custom the 1920 by 1080 because I only have one monitor, I could just set it to one, uh, which is a really good setting, uh, or that they have. Because if you have dual monitors and you want to record just one of them, then you can set that, or you can just sit with the custom, of course, 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you want it to be. Now you want to downscale it to at least 1280 by 720. If you're not a partner with Twitch or the actual live streaming website otherwise they won't let you do 1920 by 1080 streaming yet once you're partnered you can so put it there and then 30 frames per second is perfectly fine if you want to go for that 1080p and then 60 frames per second be my guest and I enable the disable arrow at startup just because it helps with your processor alright go to your audio we're gonna save that also audio none of this has to be changed all this is going to be uh, default from your system settings down here. So don't worry about the audio. And then advanced, I leave everything at normal and super fast. Leave everything the way it is. All right, once you're done with that, hit OK. And I'm going to show you how to set up a scene. You're going to right click on and click add a scene. I'm going to call it tut. All right, right here are the sources. You can add, uh, you know, video games. You can add text of course images uh, if you want to overlay image or if you want to record the actual desktop go to software capture and then you can either click on the actual monitor or you can do window capture which if I had anything open then it would let me click on uh, an actual window for it to record but I'll go ahead and click on monitor and then leave all these things the same unless you don't want it to capture mouse cursor so it's up to you really hit OK. Say we want a webcam also so we're going to click on video capture device and that's mine and you can configure the settings for the actual webcam by clicking on configure. Hit OK. Now if you want to preview what it looks like go ahead and click the preview stream and this is going to pop up. Now as you can see I'm big on this and it's, it's covering the whole entire desktop so what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit scene and then you're going to click on the actual picture that you want to edit and then you can drag it around and it locks into place for the corners and it keeps the resolution uh, my 16 by 9 resolution for my webcam which is the best part 
So that's pretty much it. If you want to start streaming, then you have to stop the preview and then click start streaming. But other than that, it's a really easy and simple and CPU light program compared to XSplit. XSplit just hogs your CPU and it just, you have to have a pretty much kick ass gaming computer to actually stream and play the video games. On this, you kind of have to have at least a mediocre kind of computer, which is the best part about this. It's very light. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, then go ahead and comment below or PM me. I read both. Also, if you have any suggestion for future videos, go ahead and comment that also, and I'll see you guys next time.